Welcome to the Game Changer Podcast. Today's topic, how to develop awesome consistency. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Top of the morning. Welcome back. This is the Game Changer Podcast with Tim Mangali. You guys better get your minds right and get up and let's go. Uh-huh. See, it's more than the game that we change. We don't do it. Great to be with you guys on the podcast today. Thank you so much for listening. I'm honored that you are here. Like the like like the podcast, subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. If you're listening on Spotify or iTunes, go and rate and review it. It makes a big difference to share the message. And of course, take a picture and let me know. Tag me on social media. Let's dive into this concept of consistency. I was on a podcast the other day with someone else, right? His show had a, about 140 people on there. And the question was asked, right? These are all aspiring entrepreneurs, real estate investors, people who want to be wealthy. And the question was asked, hey, how do you develop consistency? Right? And one of the participants said, man, so Tim, I'm, I'm having a hard time being consistent. It's like, I'm motivated. But sometimes I just don't go do the thing. Is it a lack of motivation? Is it a lack of the clarity? And, and so I want to like break this down on the podcast today because what's important to understand is consistency over intensity. A lot of people come out the gate hungry and on fire. And they're excited and they can stay up late at night and they can pull all these, right, burning the candle at both ends and burning the midnight oil. And that's called intensity. You know, that's where you go hard at it. But intensity eventually wears you down and wears you out. So there's a phrase that says consistency over intensity. Now, how do you develop this awesome consistency? Because the greatest performers, even the happiest people, there's a level of consistency. Consistency means to do something over an extended period of time every single day, or it could be every single week, or it could be every single month. For example, I go to church on Sundays. Most Sundays I'm at church. There's a consistency every week. I like to work out. There's a consistency of walking into the gym six days a week with Sunday as my rest day. I love to listen to audiobooks and read every single day. And now there's things that I do perhaps once a week, once a quarter, right? That's called consistency to do something over an extended period of time every single fill in the blank day, week, month, quarter, year. Now, right, we have a birthday every single year. So why does consistency matter? Look, if you're gonna go create wealth and create your dreams and build this happiness, if you're gonna overcome, right, opposition and resistance, you're gonna have to develop consistency, right? The ability to do something over an extended period of time every single day or every single week. So how do you do it? Well, I'm gonna give you just some frameworks here to help you understand. Number one, first and foremost, you've got to know exactly what you want. We call this clarity is power. Principle number four of the 13 principles. Clarity is power, being clear about what you want for your life. You know, I'm gonna ask you some questions. What type of life do you want to live? What type of experience do you wanna have on a daily basis? How do you wanna feel every single day, right? What type of money do you want to have coming into your bank account so that you can spend and create? How do you want to travel? How do you want to vacation? How do you wanna contribute and give back? What type of home do you wanna raise your children in? What type of schools do you wanna raise your children in? What type of spiritual experiences do you want to have, right? These are questions that allow you to develop a clear picture of what it is that you want and why it matters. So anytime we talk about a result, an outcome, a goal, a dream, there's two components, the what and the why, right? What do you want? Specific, measurable, and it's yours. And why does that matter? You know, what is it going to do for you? Why does it matter that you have X amount in the bank account. Why does it matter that you lose weight? So, right, that's the first thing. You have a clear result. And for Satema, I've always had goals from a scholarship to Brigham Young University to serving a two year mission from a church to going to college to making X amount of dollars to having my body look a certain way to being able to have an amazing team, great vacations, contributions, giving back, feeling fulfilled. Okay, that's easy. Right, for step one, get clear. Now, number two, right? People are like, well, okay, I got this. I know what I want, but I'm still not consistent. And I'm going to tell you why. Step two. First step one is clarity is power. What and why? What's the thing you want? Step two is simple. You're still in the bleachers of life. What does that mean? Well, it's hard to be consistent at something when you suck, when you're not that good, 
when you're uncomfortable, when you're just like, oh, I'm not that good. For example, why is the gym so easy for Satema? Well, number one, I'm good at it. I'm strong at it. I've been doing it for 32, 33 years of my life. So when you're not in what I call the suck box and you get into the non-suck box, consistency is a lot easier. In the beginning, when you go from the bleachers, right, where you're observing and watching and you're listening to podcasts and you're reading books and you're in school and you're in business school, you go to a seminar, you're in the bleachers or you're an intern, right? You're in the bleachers, you're watching and you're, you're not even good enough to suck. So the first part of developing consistency, know exactly what it is that you want and why that matters. Second part, you got to go from the bleachers into the suck box. And in the suck box, you're going to suck and you're not going to be very good. Again, let's use the gym as an example. When you go to the gym the first time, it's, it's uncomfortable. People are looking at me. What will they think about me? I'm not as strong. I don't look as good. My clothes, my back, my butt, my arms, my chest. Right? These are thoughts that people have. And when you're not that good, aka you suck, it is hard to be consistent. So number two, right? You got to go from the bleachers to the suck box. When you're in the suck box, you're just not that good. And it's hard to be consistent, which leads us to number three. Exit the suck box, right? When you are not that good at something, let's say, for example, like I take my phone here and I turn it sideways and I shoot a video or I go live on social media or even like this podcast I'm shooting. I think I want to say this is going to be somewhere in the 660, 665th episode, somewhere in there, right? In the beginning, I wasn't that good. And so it's uncomfortable to be consistent at something when you consistently suck at it, aka you're in the suck box. So how do you get out of the suck box? Push yourself through it develop the skills, practice, right? The word is practice, right? The good old Allen Iverson practice. We talking about practice, practice. What are you talking about? The more you practice and do the thing, the better you get, the better you get, the more comfortable you get, the more comfortable you get, the more competent you get, the more competent you get, the more confidence you have. Like that's the game. And the more confidence you get, which comes from competence, which comes from like consistent, just doing the work, all of a sudden it's easy to be consistent because you're good at it. You're no longer uncomfortable. Your comfort zone went from this small to this big to comfort zone this big. And all of a sudden it's like, it's normal. It's easy. It's like standing on stage, giving a public presentation in front of 5,000 people. If you've never done it before, you're, in the, you're uh, in the bleachers and now you got to get to the suck box. So how do you develop this consistency? Again, number one, be clear about what you want, why it matters. We call this the result, the outcome. Number two, go from the bleachers, get into the sock, suck box. Number three, as you're uncomfortable, keep doing the thing and course correcting what takes you out of the suck box into the non-suck box. You get better. You get reps, reps upon reps upon reps upon practice. Some of you have figured this out. Uh, when I do a podcast, I don't have any notes. I don't have an outline. I don't have my laptop open. I have nothing. I'm literally talking to the camera of what is flowing through me to you. Same thing when I get on the stage. I spoke at Funnel Hacking Live a few weeks ago, about five to 6,000 people for Russell Brunson's event. Amazing experience too. And you know, people always ask me, hey, what are you gonna talk about? As if I have some canned presentation. Now, if you ask my team, they're just gonna smile. And they're like, we don't know. He don't know either. But when he gets on stage, he's gonna figure it out. I figured out what I was gonna talk about because I have developed a practice of doing and reps upon reps upon reps. You wanna get consistent and develop awesome consistency? Put your shoulder to the wheel, put your hand on the plow, right? The old farmer analogy. Get out of the bleachers, get into the suck box, and pretty soon when you do something enough times, you become good at it. And with reps, as you become good at it, you become more competent. More competence brings confidence. Confidence increases your ability to be consistent, and all of a sudden, it's like hygiene. The thing that you were struggling to be consistent at has now become hygiene. I brush and floss my teeth uh, every night, I water pick, do my hygiene in the morning, I wake up, do the same thing, I brush, get fresh, like it's no, what's what I do. I don't, you don't have to convince me to brush my teeth or to take a shower. Sometimes it's two showers a day and sometimes it's three showers a day, depending on the workout, what I'm doing in the evening. So how do you develop awesome consistency? 
Number one, you got to have the target to get you to move. Then number two, you got to understand, what, are you in the bleachers? Are you in the suck box? Are you in the non-suck box? And then as you just understand this concept of, I'm going to not be very good at it, but then the more I do it, I get better. There's a, one of my favorite quotes that says, that which we persist in doing becomes easier. Not that the nature of the task has changed, but our power and ability and capacity to do so has increased. I promise you, if you take a look at your physical, spiritual, relational, financial, and your physicality develops some consistency. Oh, meal prep is so hard. It's hard because you're in the bleachers or you're in the suck box. You suck. But those who meal prep and take care of their bodies and put their protein and go to the gym and sleep and rest and do right, drink their gallon of water a day, it's easy because it's become habitual. Spiritually, are you consistent in developing spiritual practices? spiritual power or are you still in the bleachers or the suck box relationally this was a tough one for me i was consistently awful with my sons at the end of the day tired exhausted raising my voice yelling at my sons i was like ah that don't work i don't like that i've got to change the habit and the way to change the habit again is right i've got to understand this loop of building habits now i was in the suck box because i was always yelling and getting mad at them and now i can be calm with them because I have developed a different way of being. The way I've done that is I've understand what the goal is, I understand what's required, and then I consistently practice the behavior. Again, practice reps and reps. Last night was a prime example. Going to bed, my sons are yelling, arguing, I can hear my wife raising her voice. She's like, boys! And she gives me the look, and I'm like, all I did was, Israel, Judah, come. <laughs> and they walk in, and I'm looking at my boys, and I'm like sideways, and I'm like, boys? Yelling will get us nowhere. So how do we solve the problem? And of course, they tried to blame each other. I said, let's put my hand up, boys. And then this morning, right, before I came to the office, my boys are arguing. I said, come, Israel Judah, come. <laughs> and then, oh boy, dad's calling us with that tone. And I consistently have practiced being patient. I'm no longer in the bleachers and I'm no longer in the sock box. I've progressed towards the non-suck box because I've consistently practiced the behavior that I know will lead me to what I want. Financially, how do you develop a consistency in saving or earning or developing skills? Again, final piece of this, right? So number one, get clear about what you want, why it matters. Get, go from the bleachers to the suck box. Go from the suck box to, to the non-suck box. Final piece of this is this. You, get, you have to be able to visualize what if I don't have consistency and what if I don't do what's required? Most people don't even want to look at that. I love to have clients and people look at what's the consequences if I don't change? What's the consequences if I do not start to save and earn and invest and develop my skill sets? Look at the future trajectory if you don't shift. Look at what's going to happen if you don't change. That's how you develop awesome consistency. There's something I want. I want to avoid the regret and the pain. I'm going to go develop skills and practice and practice and build this confidence into competence and power. And all of a sudden becomes hygiene. So what will you do to develop awesome consistency? I invite you, take a look at your life, pick one thing, and go develop a consistency with it. Hey guys, if the podcast resonates, if it touches your heart and soul and it gives you greater vision and clarity to go build the life you want so you can make a difference inside of your world, your family's world, and the community itself, all I ask that you do is share the podcast forward. We don't run ads, we don't have sponsors, but we can make a difference and help people become game changers for their lives, for their families, if we share the message. So share this with somebody who needs to hear it and have an amazing day. My friends, I appreciate listening so much. I'm grateful that you're here. Go be consistent. Consistency over intensity. And once you're consistent, then you can increase your intensity. I appreciate you listening. I love you. Go be a game changer. I'm out. Let's go. Go, 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 uh -huh. go. See, it's more than the game that we changing. We don't do it for the block, do it for the name. Yeah. No, there ain't no stopping it. If you really want it, better rock with it. This is how to be a game changer. Better put your pride down, heavy, you get your pen up. Wanna be the greatest, we ain't stopping till we win. Yeah. This is how to make it when they hating, we ain't worried what they saying. This is how to, how to be a game changer.